What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Got something pretty special for you guys that you may want to stay tuned to the very end for. Especially how if you want to know when the next massive squeeze for AMC, well, I have a pretty good prediction. Especially how this information is now going around the web. Not as much as I hoped for, but I think more apes that know about this will definitely be the better. Now before we dive into deeper, make sure you guys check out Moomoo, our sponsor. Link in the description below. Click on it, make a Moomoo broach account. Deposit $100 and get two free stocks. It's literally free money, guys, so why not take advantage of this? If you guys want some free cash, definitely do this, okay? And the stocks they give out are honestly pretty good. So you guys want like 10, 20, 50 bucks? best way to do this. Okay, now let's get back to AMC because everyone is talking about IWM having a 38% short interest. I know that sounds pretty important, but I got something even crazier than this. Dark pool trades are going out of control, like two thirds of the volume being dark pool trades. I know that also sounds pretty interesting, but I got something that could definitely top that. And also several rules being passed. I know this, this is also pretty hot, but we gotta talk about futures. Now, obviously not a lot of us know about futures, so I try to explain this the best I can. I know this channel mostly covers about stocks, but I can't just not help and look at this roll dates for some of the index futures. It's very interesting. And these are all based on quarters, which are three months. So what's really interesting about this is an options contract gives a trader the right to buy a stock, but they don't actually have to, okay? They could buy it or they could not buy it. But when you do a futures contract, the buyer has to to purchase shares. The seller has to sell the shares. It's kind of different from options. And also what's really interesting about futures is you could also mess around with basket of stocks that include the meme stocks like AMC, GME, and BlackBerry. This is why when you check out AMC, GameStop, BlackBerry, and all those meme stocks in their graphs, they all seem to move in a similar fashion. When everyone is going up, everyone was going up. And let's say the downturn is coming in and everything starts going down. Every single one of those meme stocks go down together. Even the tiniest little bumps, every single one of those meme stocks I just listed and a few more, they all move together because they're messing around with some of these massive index funds. And there is an index fund that consists of a lot of these meme stocks. And that is what's going on. Now, what's the very interesting thing about these futures is when you open up a futures contract, you're not really forced to buy these things. You could also technically extend out the expiration forward. So you could just simply roll it out constantly and just keep doing it over and over again. Now the roll order dates is pretty interesting because every time you do a roll over, it also requires you to close out the contract, but at the same time, also open a contract. I know it sounds a little bit crazy and a little bit confusing, but long story short, you could roll out a future. You could still maintain your position beyond the initial expiration, but you're not really forced to close it or straight up buy or sell it. So you're honestly in a good spot. You could just simply keep rolling out and just keep delaying whatever is gonna happen. Now let's look at the roll dates for upcoming equity index quarterly futures. This is pretty interesting. So if you check out this, this is for June 18th, 2021. And when you compare this with June 18th, 2021 over here, you do see AMC having a massive surge up, like right here. You do see AMC actually go up a little bit from just a price of $39 up to $63. That's actually a pretty good jump. Now, if we go back a little bit further to roughly March, you know, around late March, of this year and you check this out. Okay, if you drag all the way out to March, you also see that it did have a pretty massive increase around this area from five bucks up to 14 bucks, okay? Now you can also technically say that late May and also this June date is pretty similar as well because you do see the price go from just 13 bucks to $72 and at the same time it did go from 39 to 63. That's also pretty interesting. Now, what I wanna tell you guys is we could be seeing another massive squeeze coming up because we could be seeing a squeeze coming up around September 17th. Now, not right away, not exactly on the day, but I'm guessing perhaps late August or early September, we could be seeing a pretty massive run up. And what's really unique is every single time when you have a massive surge up like these, you do have a very nice consolidation of the stock. And after you have a good consolidation of the stock, generally the price trend does go up. And there's another few key ingredients that you gotta sprinkle in along with these rollout futures. Not only does a lot of these price surges move accordingly to the role of the US index futures, but also three other key ingredients to add on top of our stake 
okay? We also have to see it consolidating. Because plenty of times before these massive run-ups, you do see AMC consolidating pretty well, which is generally a clue not only for AMC, but for several other stocks in the stock market. When you see stocks consolidating and not really moving, and no matter how many people sell and no matter how many people short it, it just doesn't want to go down because that's the floor. After a while of that, it goes up. I used to cover Ethereum videos, and I could tell you Ethereum did stabilize really well at one point, and now it's at $3,200 from $1,700. Now, this is totally different. I know it's crypto, but the same logic applies here. Another thing is the short interest. Back then when AMC went from nine to 72, the short interest was at roughly 18 to 20%, probably 19. It was very, very high. Like pretty much one fifth of the stock was shorted. Now AMC is having a very high short interest as well. If you check out AMC, the short interest is at roughly 85.8 million shares at roughly 18 to 19% short interest, almost 20%. Now, a lot of this short interest data is a little bit delayed, so I'm guessing at this point, it's probably almost 20%, almost 100 million shares being shorted. That's the second key ingredient that we have. So we have good consolidation. We also have AMC having a high short interest. And last but not least, we gotta look at the number of retail traders going in. Retail interest is still extremely high for AMC, and it's not dying down any soon. In fact, I think AMC's retail interest is higher than ever before. With so many people joining the social media ranks, with a lot of people who just turned 18 and they really want to trade, so they make their own account and now they're starting to trade. So we are seeing a lot of big things happening to AMC and retail interest is growing. If you also check out orders by Fidelity customers, AMC is now moving back up to the rank. I can pretty much say, give it a few more days of trading when all this meme stock craziness and all these meme stock earnings die away. We should be AMC going back up to number one once again, okay? I think AMC is a pretty phenomenal stock and their fundamentals really rock and they do a good job with the fundamentals. Lastly, AMC is pretty strong. I mean, even on Friday trading, it's up 1.2%. I know it's not the best of days, but hey, it could have been worse. It could have been pretty red. And I said this multiple times, every time when AMC is below $33, you're getting it at a discount price because AMC is gonna go up to $33. You heard me say that so many times before, and I'll say it again, and that has happened. Every single time when AMC goes below $33, it stays there for a while, but right after, it just starts surging back up. Even at a really red day, like negative 8%, if AMC is below $33, you bet that that day or towards the last few hours of trading, it will go right back up. And it's crazy. That's all, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. How do you guys feel about this whole rollout futures thing? I know it sounds a bit crazy, but if you really piece together some of the puzzles, every single time when the rollout date is coming in, you also have good consolidation of the stock. There seems to be a higher increase in the amount of options trading, and we should be seeing a massive spike up in the price of AMC. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Make sure you guys check out the private server below. It's in the link. It's pretty nice. A lot of really amazing trades here. A lot of really amazing people, analysts, admins. We're all on here. I'm on here all the time. A lot of crazy stuff. So many different analysts. So many different trades. We have like hundreds of trades in a single day. Just pick the ones that you guys like. It's pretty great, okay? And on top of that, we interact with you guys. Almost 2,000 members. 24-7 hour support on Patreon and Discord. It's awesome. See you guys later and have a good day.